Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. How's it going? I'm back with another Shopify store review. And today I'm gonna to be looking at crownandpaw.com. It's a personalized pet product store and they do it in a super unique way. And this is of course part of my free series where I have just tons and tons of different YouTube, uh, tons of different Shopify stores on my YouTube channel that I just review. I go over why you should look at them. And that's what I'm gonna do here today with crownandpaw.com. I'm gonna go over why you should pay attention to them, what you could learn from them, and why, you're, they're, why they're just doing so well in a very competitive space, personalized pet products. So we're gonna go over the shoulder. We're gonna take a look at some of the different parts of this site, some of the great things of this site, but also make sure you take a look at my huge playlist full of other Shopify stores where I go and review them as well. So let's jump into it right now. This is crownandpaw.com. And as you see here, they say you could turn your pet into a Renaissance masterpiece. And they do personalized pet products and they have their really own special unique twist on it. You see over here, they just have these really crazy, uh, they call them Renaissance masterpieces, but they're just like these really crazy combinations of, uh, you know, like an illustrated portrait of the pet and then some crazy, uh, you know, like body that they're on. In this case, it's some like royalty or some noble. And uh, you see all these different kind of crazy things. The admiral, the princess, the ambassador, the veteran, the duchess, the count, the colonel, the noble, right? All these different crazy examples. And, uh, you know, I'll talk about this in a little bit in terms of how this is their special sauce. But you can see their, uh, their kind of products here. And uh, they're rapidly growing in terms of the personalized uh, print-on-demand space. Um, they're in the personalized pet print-on-demand space specifically. And uh, you see, like I've showed you, they basically turn in illustrations or, or turn photos into illustrations of people's pets, right? Incredible way to leverage the print-on-demand model. Super unique, uh, really cool style, right? This uh, Renaissance masterpiece style that they call it. Uh, really, really cool and just simply unique. People just have not seen this before. And uh, they also have a really heavy use of user-generated content. One of the things that you'll see over and over uh, throughout the site they do a really good job of integrating user-generated content, and uh, you should consider doing that for your brand as well. Um, every single person should be interested in the fact that they have high-margin, high-profit print-on-demand products, so there's no risk, there's no upfront inventory costs, they don't have any inventory like in a warehouse, and yet they're still selling $50-plus uh, items, and that's just uh, the starting point at $50. They go a lot higher depending on the, uh, the size and the product. A 16 by 24 could easily be a $100 product on print on demand, costing them somewhere between $15 and $25 to get that created. So a lot of margin on there, which means they could run a lot of different types of advertising and still be profitable. Um, super popular and competitive niche that they're in. So if you're interested in the, the pet space, the pet lover space, the animal lover space, uh, you pay attention to this brand, uh, follow them closely because they're doing a really good job in a very competitive niche. And it's because they have a special sauce. They have a, a differentiator, and that's their really unique prints. Um, they're doing good on social media, obviously 50,000 Facebook fans, 106,000 Instagram followers. And uh, most importantly, they have uh, close to 5,000. They have 4,900 plus reviews. And those reviews have photo and sometimes video attached to them. Um, so that's where they generate all their user-generated content, which they use throughout the site. And it's just incredibly powerful. Um, in fact, even on a product page, as you see over here, is user-generated user content. Um, for every single product image, right? It's really just powerful. It's not just your, I mean, that, that sells the product. You know, here's some reviews as well. And it scrolls down to the review section where there's photo reviews. So like I mentioned, they have a heavy use of user-generated content and they do a really good job with, of that for sure. So uh, talking about their niche and their product catalog, obviously their niche is pets, pet lovers, animal lovers, right? More so on the pet side than, you know, they're not gonna have things about like wild, uh, wolves or you know uh, cows or whatever it's really mostly just about pets um, very super competitive niche for sure right uh, lots of different big stores out there and you can take a look at some of the uh, other reviews that I've done on my YouTube channel I did a review on paws.com on popyourpup.com um, very similar to uh, to this niche and uh, all of them have differentiated offerings paws.com is all about donations pop your pup is about uh, and they were the first to offer personalized pet prints and now you see Crown and Paw, kind of an evolution of that. Uh, they offer very unique stylings of personalized pet prints. So uh, it's really, um, you know, first of all, all print on demand, all personalized. Every single product is always going to be fully customized. Right? The customer literally uploads the picture of their pet and then it gets transformed into the Crown and Paw style. And literally you see right here on the product page as you're going through and you can pick a different size, 8x10, 12x18, 16x24 is the most expensive for this style. 
upload a pet image. You literally click over here and it's going to upload. It's going to, you know, if you're on mobile, you could uh, take a photo or upload from your photo library or from your laptop or desktop. It's just going to go and allow you to select from a file on your computer. Go ahead and upload your photo for the order and it gets attached to the order and then you go ahead and add the product to cart. Uh, it's, it's that simple for the customer. All they need to do is upload the, the image. And for Crown and Paw on their end, they have no inventory, no upfront costs, and no risk because, of course, every product is, is totally custom. So they don't have any stock, right? They just have designers on their team, probably freelance designers. And whenever they get an order, they say, okay, here's the uh, image that is attached to the order. Here's the style that they picked, in this case, the Duchess. Go ahead and create that design. And they've done it over here, right? They've done it over here. They've done it over here, right, et cetera, et cetera. You see over and over, they have that styling there. And really, if you've noticed the, the template, it's just a very simple template. Take a look at this, right? If we go from this point, like the, you know, the clothes down and the background, it's the same every single time. It's literally just this part is drawn into it from the image that is selected. So, you know, pet personalization is, is incredibly, any personalization is incredibly powerful with print on demand. They've taken it a step further with their own kind of unique style. And I think the really cool thing about any Shopify brand is it's very easy to replicate if you wanted to jump into this business model, right? Here's how you could start your own crown and paw Dot com. And honestly, you could do it ASAP. You could do it today. So you need to set up Shopify, set up print on demand inside of Shopify. You need to uh, install some type of customer upload functionality. There's a bunch of different apps that could do that. And then you just need a great designer, right? You need someone that's going to take those uploaded images from the orders and turn them into art. And it's as simple as that. Th that's the functionality that you see here. And you see with all the personalized uh, Shopify products, it's just those steps. And I have a free step-by-step, 100% -step, free. I walk you through over the shoulder every single step of how to get your Shopify and print-on-demand store set up. It's over there at setup.justinsener.com. You see the link on your screen. Uh, totally free. I'll walk you through how to set up a Shopify store and get print-on-demand installed and plenty of different ways to make money with print-on-demand. Crown and Paw and the personalized pet products, that's one example um, among many. So with Shopify, you always have that power. Um, even if you're not a developer, right? Shopify was built for the non-technical people. You can get your store up and running in the same day and start entering this personalized pet product space immediately. So back to the review, design and branding, right? Let's take a look at their homepage. And obviously they have a very unique style of branding, right? You can call it fancy or vintage or royal or what they call renaissance, right? Um, there's all of that as their main style. But then I think just, you know, inherently because of, the, of what this is, this is also a, a kind of a satirical and humorous. It's a funny brand, right? I mean, the, these they are obviously really good quality designs, good co uh, quality printing and products, but it's also funny to have this. And I think that's why people really love buying from this brand. Um, you know, Pop Your Pup, for example, you would just get an illustration in this style of your animal. And some people really like that. But I think other people kind of find humor in that. And they, they still want to have something on their wall with their uh, pet, but they also kind of want to embrace the fact that it's a little ridiculous and, uh, you know, kind of crazy in a good way. I would definitely have stuff on my wall. I have tons of pictures of my cat, so I don't think it's, uh, it's weird or anything. I just think that they're capitalizing on kind of the, uh, the built-in humor of having a uh, illustrated pet product by putting it on these really absurd uh, bodies, the ambassador, the count, the noble, etc. It also makes their job a lot easier because they only need to design the head rather than an entire body. So they've obviously been thoughtful about that with their designers, understanding it's going to be a much easier customization job when you only have to do about one third of the body uh, or one third of the dog because you could literally don't have to do any part of this body. It's not on this image, right? They literally just illustrate the head. See over here, just the head. So <clears throat> well thought out strategy and uh, obviously a very unique style of branding and if you just go throughout they use imagery everywhere because the product basically brands itself and the product is the branding i um, mean you see literally right over here like just different variations of the same template but it's just so powerful and creates that idea other parts of their branding they also have very clever uh, product names which i think does really well but remember over here no two products will ever be the same on crown and paw They'll have the same template, but it's always going to be based on the uploaded image of the customer. So just to walk you through again, the customer chooses a design style, right? We can go over here and take a look at all these different, let's go to posters, for example, and they have other limited edition stuff. Let's actually take a look at some Halloween stuff that they have, right? So they have over here, for example, the Kruger or the Chucky or the Mummy. You can pick whatever style you want. Then you upload your image and you pick your size. 
Okay, so you upload your image. You could upload an image of one or multiple pets depending on the template. Most of these are just single pets. Then the customer places the order with the image attached, right? It'll be attached over here. They can pick their size and then they go ahead and add to cart. Okay, it says one of a kind pet portrait featuring your pet. They do a really good job with their descriptions as well. So Crown and, uh, Crown and Paw designers, they receive the photo and the order, right? And they turn that photo into an illustration and the chosen theme. In this case, they the designers would have their mummy theme probably in Photoshop or Illustrator, and then they would take the image and digitize it and do whatever they do to make it look cool and place it on the template. Okay, they then submit that uh, template back to the customer for approval. They say, oh, you know, it didn't come out good. You know, I guess they, they make edits or whatever, depending on the, uh, on the case. And once it's approved, Crown and Paw prints the print-on-demand product through their print-on-demand provider, who then ships the product directly to the customer and sends the tracking number automatically. So it's very hands-off for the fulfillment and the production of it. Of course, the only thing that's needed and the only uh, you know, main difference in terms of personalization is that illustration needs to be uh, created from the uploaded image. Other than that, it's just a traditional print-on-demand product where there's no inventory and you know, no dealing with shipping or anything like that. So they combine print-on-demand, personalized pet products, super passionate niche, and very unique branding. That's kind of their whole thing here. So let's talk about some of the special parts of their site, like conversion rate optimization, some of the things that they do specifically to make their site perform better. And you'll see that, I'm gonna go on the homepage again. Um, reviews are integrated into the layout of the homepage pretty much everywhere. All right, if we come over here, you know, we're gonna see reviews and user-generated content immediately right on top. So first of all, we see the reviews section and it actually stands out because it's got a little star on it. I really like how they did that. Um, even though it's just a little text navigation, they still make it stand out. I'll show you that page in a second. Then you come right down here into their products. Well, actually this is kind of, this is a, a somewhat, uh, this is like a trust section right here. It's not exactly a review, but it's user-generated content again. So they showcase their product in the sense of user-generated content rather than um, you know, stock imagery or anything like that. So first of all, that's powerful. But then right over here, they show the reviews immediately, right? Almost 600 reviews, right? Hundreds and hundreds of reviews for all of these products. None of these products have under 100 reviews. 138 or 178 is the lowest. 647 is the highest. So, I mean, they have huge product reviews and they show that right over here. You also see the Crown and Paw Club over here with more reviews, all five-star reviews. You can view more reviews, which is going to bring you to the review page where you have all of these photo reviews as well. And they have all different types of user-generated content they could use for, that they could use in all different instances. For example, they could show this, and this really goes with their theme, right, in terms of that Renaissance idea. This is an old-fashioned chair and old-fashioned wood floor and all that stuff. So, you know, that's a nice image that they could use. They have all the way uh, other stuff of just kind of, uh, you know, kind of iPhone imagery like that. All of this stuff is going to be used to build their brand and also, obviously, build trust because there are tons of five-star reviews. Uh, over here again, the review section as well. If we go to a product page, you're going to see the reviews again um, all throughout the page. You see five star reviews right up top. If you click on it, it brings you down to this section. You actually see the Crown and Paw Club section again, and then all these five star reviews with the exact product that they're about to buy. All right? You see that's the the ad or the the kernel template. You see these little necklace things, and uh, they're right here as well. Of course, they're using the same template over and over and over. They're just customizing the uh the uploaded image so uh, again super powerful setup there just in the back end but uh, it's a really really powerful thing they also do a little bit and they don't really highlight this they should highlight it more portion of profit uh portion of profits donated should highlight that more i'm not exactly sure what they do but uh, they might talk more about that in their mission but uh, either way if you uh, watch my other review on pause.com you know that you should be using uh if you are going to be doing donations you better integrate it into your marketing so it helps you uh sell more and donate more at the same time so uh, that's the uh, uh, kind of conversion rate optimizations, uh, trust badges like I just showed you, you know, even though they have, uh, they're pretty small, but they still have them right over here, right under underneath the add to cart button. Those trust badges, that's always powerful. The crown and paw club, I showed you that. Um, another thing is also uh, uh, one, page, uh, one page checkout. Let me show you that real quick. So the one page checkout is pretty powerful. Um, they've customized their checkout and uh, you'll see I'll come over here to the checkout screen and it's a one page checkout everything is on one page and uh, i'm not sure if they're shopify plus or if they're using checkout x or something out there but uh, it's a one page checkout over here you see everything literally going right inside here if you need to use different billing address that pops up but this is the same shopify fields it's just sent all into that uh, single page checkout so i like how they do that as well and uh, that's just going to really reduce drop off and reduce abandoned carts 
So uh, how do they increase profit? What are some of the things that they do? The first thing that you'll notice on top, free USA delivery on orders over $100. So they incentivize people at the $100 threshold to get free shipping. What's that going to do? It's going to raise the average order value, right? It's going to raise the average order value and it's going to basically entice them to buy more, right? And this is a great thing for this site because this is a perfect gifting site as well, right? This is something where you might buy for yourself and for your family. So they incentivize you to spend more so then you can get that uh, free shipping. Again, you see that right on top over here. Probably, I'm sure it's not for international because it's a lot more for print on demand to ship internationally, but USA is probably the majority of their customers and they're giving free shipping at $100. So that's good. They also have a custom order status and a tracking uh, track order section. This is for that back and forth between the customer and the designers, right? Basically you have, for them to approve the design. Um, they also have very smart pricing on some of their larger sizes. I, I, this is called the marginal pricing strategy. And I'll show you the example of it right here. So it's $89.95 for the biggest size and it's $50 for the, uh, the smallest size and it's 69. So there's a very, there's very small jumps. If you look at other canvas sites and I, I'm not sure if they've tested this or tested this, or if this is just their strategy, there's very small jumps in between the small to the big size in other places. You know, we could be looking at hundred dollars, $150 jumps from the small to the big. And of course, there's gonna be different sizes in between and go all the way up to 30 by 40. They don't go that high. But the marginal pricing strategy here is that they're saying for a, 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 a much bigger size, at double the size, it's only adding $40 onto the cost for a product like this that already has a high perceived value, a high average order value. So it makes the biggest size seem like a, a, a the best deal. Like they could easily have pricing like 50, 100, 150 for the three different sizes, right? This could be 49, this could be 99, this could be 149, right? But they don't have it like that. They have marginal pricing where they're only adding a little bit for increasing the size, even though, it, it, you know, in this case, it's double the size. So it's a significant product difference, but it's not a significant pricing difference. So that's a psychological pricing trick that they definitely, um, uh, you know, have planned. So I bet you a lot of the people, I bet you almost no one buys the middle size for sure, right? Because if you're over here, you, you know, if you're at the middle size, you're thinking, okay, it's literally only $20 more. I'm going to get a much bigger print. And, you know, prints, especially, uh, you know, at, at the 8 by 10 size, 12 by 18, they're just not that big. Um, you know, you get, the, you get the biggest size closer to a poster size over here. And that's going to be a, a lot different on the wall. So I think that a lot of people will see the value in that, in that pricing strategy. Obviously, the value for them because they're increasing their profit that way. And they also do a really good job of social media ads. And honestly, it's pretty easy because they have imagery like this. Again, they have all user generated content. So all of this imagery they can use for their social media ads. And, uh, you know, it's better than any ad that you could run if you, you know, without a user generated content period. So, I mean, showing the showing, a, uh, I mean, in this case, showing a happy dog looking exactly like the product and then showing the product. Perfect. Right. Absolutely perfect. And that's why they have so many different examples of it. So there's something special. What is their special sauce here with crown and paw? Uh, they differentiate themselves in the super popular pet lover niche by offering personalized pet products, but they go even further, right? They further differentiate from other personalized pet brands like paw, uh, I'm sorry, like pop your pet. Another one of the stores I reviewed on my YouTube channel, they further differentiate from other personalization brands in that they have that super unique style, right? A super unique style where they have, you know, just the, the, the coolest types of designs. They're not just personalization based on the pet, they're personalization based on the pet and then a really funny, cool Renaissance theme. They have the astronaut, the savant, right? I mean, their catalog goes so far, right? I'm sure these do incredibly well for uh, um, pet owners who are veterans and during 4th of July. Really unique catalog, right? Really unique catalog. And they, like I mentioned before, they, have, they focus on passion but then they even go further. They have that idea of satire. They built a, this is a social media uh, um, positive brand. By that, I mean, people want to share this. That's why you see all the UGC. This is something that when someone orders this and puts it on their wall, they're going to be posting this immediately onto social media, whether or not Crown and Paw asks for it or not. This is something that is just built for social media, built for, you know, really being hot and trending product. And that's why they're doing so well. They focus on pet lovers. They, they have that strong passion connection with their pets. And then they also focus on that, uh, on that idea about it's a humorous thing. It's a conversation starter. It's something that sticks out on your living room wall. And that, that's the type of thing that people want. They want something that's unique. They want something different. They obviously want to have that connection 
with their passion. That's why they're buying something with their pet on it. But, you know, take it a step further. You know, these guys have a very unique uh, selling proposition. It's like not only is it a, uh, a, um, a print about something that you're passionate about, but it's a personal, personalized print about the thing that you're specifically passionate about, your pet. And on top of that, it's also something that is a, a great kind of um, wall piece, right? It's a great conversation starter. It's something unique. It's something hot. Right. And, you know, the highly scalable design part of this also is underrated in, in the fact that 90 percent of the design is a template every single time. Right. If we go and there's probably not too many of these examples this is one of their more niche products. But you see every single time it's the Admiral with the little uh, whatever this is, white thing, and then the, uh, the, the flag behind it every single time, the same template. So very easy on their designers. It makes for a much easier job than the other personalized pet providers out there because they're only designing about a third of the entire pet's body, just the head. So that's their special sauce. And really, you know, they're, they're crushing it right now. And uh, like I said, I have that free step-by-step setup.justincener.com if you want to build your own Shopify print-on-demand store. But uh, I'm a really big fan of this store. I really love their design style. And I, I really just kind of... Um, you know, I, I really just connect with their humor and the, you know, the satirical side of their designs. And I just find it to be really awesome. So um, I like them a lot. I think they're doing a great job, obviously, uh, you know, with all that UGC and positive reviews, um, they're making a lot of money. So um, I could also review your store. Let me review your store. You can check out reviews.justincener.com. You see the link right there on your screen. I create a 20 minute video review, pretty similar to this. Um, your store is probably not in as good shape as Crown and Pulse. There's going to be a lot more things that we can kind of go over and fix. So take a look at my link, reviews.justincener.com. But also make sure you uh, uh, leave a comment over here if you have any questions. I'm trying to stay as active as I can on my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about Crown and Paw, if you have any questions about this site that we just talked about, if you have any questions in general about Shopify, leave a comment over here. I'll do my best to answer as many questions as possible. And I have a bunch of other Shopify stores that I've reviewed and just tons of other valuable videos for you to make money online. So please give me a subscribe on my YouTube channel. Uh, I know there's a lot that you're going to uh, find value on. So again, if you have any questions, leave a comment, check out the playlist of other Shopify store reviews. And uh, most importantly, please uh, give me a subscribe on my YouTube channel. I hope this video helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.